Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here in this particular video is an exponential equation. So why do we know this is an exponential equation? Well, if you look here, we have an equation, we have an equal sign, and the variable that we're trying to solve for x is up in the exponent. So by definition, this is an exponential equation. And I'm asking you to solve this specifically without the aid of a calculator. Now, some of you out there might be saying, are you crazy? I need a calculator to solve this. Well, of course, you can use a calculator to solve this. But I'm telling you right now, many of you that are in courses like Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, you're going to be taking a lot of test quizzes, exams, where your teacher are going to, uh, is going to say, uh, no calculator allowed. So you need to understand the proper techniques to solve an equation like this without a calculator. It's not that difficult. Of course, you need to know exactly what you're doing. So if you know what you're doing, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, then I'm going to explain this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, Make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the answer. Again, the equation here is 8 to the x power is equal to 16 to the 4x minus 1 power. We're trying to solve for x. So what is the solution? Well, x is equal to 4 thirteenths. 4 over 13, this is the correct answer. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right, and hopefully you didn't use a calculator. But if you got this right, without the aid of a calculator, you definitely deserve a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family Yes, indeed, you know how to solve an exponential equation without the aid of a calculator. Now, if you got this right with a calculator, that is good because, uh, in general, when you're solving exponential equations, you're going to be using logarithms. And when you solve logarithmic equations, you're going to be using exponents because exponential functions and logarithmic, uh, logarithmic functions are uh, inverses of one another. So uh, there are plenty of times where you will need a calculator to solve an exponential equation, but there are problems like this one where you can solve it without the aid. I'm sorry, uh, you will need your calculator to solve many exponential equations, but there are types of problems like this one here where you can um, uh, solve an exponential equation without the aid of a calculator. Okay, so now that I kind of got all that out, let's get into the problem. Okay, so what is the key to solving an exponential equation without the aid of a calculator? Well, the main idea here is we want to get these bases the same if possible. Okay, so remember when we're looking at um, a power, so let's say we have 2 to the third power, that's equal to 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. So 2, this big 2 here, is the base, right? So this is the base. This little uh, three up here is the exponent, and the entire thing here is the power, right? So just a uh, kind of quick review for this nomenclature. But what we want to do here is try to uh, get these bases uh, uh, to be the same. So here we have eight, here we have 16. Is there a way we can get uh, both eight and 16 to have the same base? Well, indeed there is. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to do. All right, so here we can think of 8 as 2 cubed, okay, because 8 is equal to 2 cubed. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So if we express 8 as 2 cubed, well, that's going to help us out because we can express 16 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the fourth. Now we have these two numbers, 8 and 16, expressed in such a way where they have the same base. Now, of course, they have different exponents, but again, what we're focusing in uh, uh, first is to see if we can get the bases the same. So we're going to think of 8 as 2 cubed and 16 as 2 to the fourth. Again, the strategy, the first thing you need to do to solve a problem like this is to try to rewrite these numbers, okay, which are in the base, uh, in such a way 
Uh, now, of course, you're going to have to use powers so that the bases are the same. All right, so what do we do next? Well, let's go ahead and see that right now. So we're going to rewrite this equation. 8 to the x is equal to 16 to the 4x minus 1. Instead of an 8 and a 16, for 8, we're going to put in a 2 cubed. And for 16, we're going to put in 2 to the 4th. So this new equivalent equation is 2 cubed to the x power, which is the same thing as 8 to the x, is equal to 2 to the 4th, which is the same thing as 16, to the 4x minus 1 power. Okay, so why is that important? Why was this uh, kind of the key to unlock this um, uh, solution? Well, here, the next step what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this outside exponent to this inside exponent. You'll see the key here in a second. So x times 3 is 3x, right? So if I have like 2 cubed to the second power, this is going to be uh, 2 to the 6. Remember, this property in algebra, a to the m times n, is equal to a to the uh, m times n. So yes, you need to know all these basic algebra properties of powers and exponents. So hopefully you understood this. So uh, we're going to multiply this x times this 3. So we've got 3x. So now 2 thirds, right, 2 to the third power to the x power is the same thing as 2 to the 3x. And then here, we're going to take this 2 to the fourth, and we're going to do the same thing. But this is where a lot of students will make an error. Okay, we have 4x minus 1. So we need to distribute this power to this. Okay, of course you can go the other way, but you want to put this expression in parentheses. Okay, because we have to apply the distributive property. So this is going to be 4 times 4x, which is 16x, and then 4 times this one right here, which would be 4. Right, this is not going to just be 16x minus 1. So if you made that mistake, I'm glad that you did because next time you'll know to put parentheses around these expressions. Now, if you've um, been following me, if you watch my uh, uh, other uh, videos that I produce, if you um, actually are a subscriber and if you actually watch more of my other uh, videos, you know, or hopefully you've come across some of my videos where I say put parentheses around sums and differences. They're not always going to be there, but if you put them in there, it's going to help you uh, not make the mistake of uh, forgetting to apply the distributive property, right? This is a common, common error here. But again, uh, if we do this correctly, we're going to have 4 times 4x is uh, 16x, and then this 4 times this 1 is 4. Okay, so what do we have now, right? Well, the key to unlocking this equation, uh, solving this exponential equation, is if we can get the bases the same, okay, so here this is, uh, they have the same base of 2, all right? We can equate the exponents, all right? So we have 2 to some power is equal to 2 some, to some other power, but if we're saying this is an equ um, uh, they're equal to one another, in other words, the value of this is the same thing as the value of this, well, the exponents must be the same, okay? In other words, you can only have, if I have 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the 7th, right? I can only have the situation 2 to what is equal to 2 to the 7th. Well, this is, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side in value. Well, this x must be equal to 7, so uh, here we can simply equate the exponents, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we're going to say, oh, well, in, in order for this to be true, 3x must be equal to 16x minus 4. So that's why we're going to set up this equation right here. And then we'll solve this basic equation for x, and we'll be done. All right, so here we go. So this is 3x is equal to 16x minus 4. So I'll move the 3x over on this side. That'll give me 13x, and then I'll add 4 to both sides of the equation. So I have 4 is equal to 13x, and I'll divide both sides of the equation by 13, and you get x is equal to 4 over 13. Okay, so again, this is a problem type that you're absolutely going to run into in these more advanced math courses like Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, etc. Okay, anytime you are studying uh, logarithms, you're going to be studying exponential equations. But, um, you know, just to kind of reiterate again, that we can equate this, um, these two bases here, these numbers 8 and 16, because they have a 2 in common, right? So 8, again, was 2 cubed. 16 is um, uh, 2 to the 4th. 
But if these values were different, let's just kind of make something up right here. What if I had uh, 2 to the x and this was, um, let's say, 7 to the 4x minus 1? Well, here we can't equate these two bases, right? So there's, in other words, without the aid of a calculator. So in this situation, we would have to take the logarithm of both sides, and that is a whole nother discussion. All right, so if you need additional help with exponential equations or logarithmic equations, I would suggest checking out like my Algebra 2 course, College Algebra, if you're in uh, pre-calculus, I teach um, uh, exponential functions and logarithmic functions in that course as well. But hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.